Hi Hi Good morning everybody Welcome back to my channel Miss Boogie's English Practice Stay healthy and keep on practicing your English Okay We are going to continue our past simple tense Or in the bracket is we use verb to for past simple tense Okay And then how to use past simple tense Past simple tense digunakan to indicate an action that happened at some specific time in past Itu untuk menunjukkan suatu peristiwa yang terjadi di beberapa waktu tertentu di masa lampau Examples. She went to zoo yesterday. Yesterday, but it telah terjadi di masa yang lampau. And then, past simple tense also used for two or more consecutive actions that happened in the past. Dua atau lebih dari peristiwa yang berurutan terjadi secara berurutan di masa lampau. Example, she entered the house to call her shoes and light on the sofa. And then we use past simple tense also for the finished action of the past. Kejadian yang selesai yang telah selesai dari masa lampau ya. Example, my mother-in-law used to hand wash her clothes. And then to talk about the people who are no more in this world. Untuk membicarakan orang-orang yang sudah tidak ada lagi di dunia ini. Eh, okay. kata lain sudah meninggal. Example. Albert Einstein presented the theory of relativity. Okay. And then date or time expression. Seperti tanggal atau waktu Example The actress joined this production house last month Okay That's the use of simple past Now the time expression for simple past Waktu yang kita gunakan untuk Simple past Yesterday Itu kemarin Last Last night, last week, last year, last month, a week, or a month, or a year ago. Ibu tu sudah berlalu, ya. Two days, or two months, or two years ago. The day before yesterday. Hari sebelum kemarin and then two days two weeks or two months or two years ago that's for the time expression okay now I give you also the regular verbs okay you can read one by one what is book one book two okay kata kerja beraturan yeah for example I not give you all only specific one that used to come out Regular verbs atau kerja yang beraturan yang, menambah, yang ditambahkan D atau ID or ID IED di belakangnya. And then next, this is for irregular verbs kata kerja yang tidak beraturan. Itu kata kerja yang lain dari kata aslinya. Okay, example like go become when. Okay, jadi dia sudah berubah dari bentuk dasarnya. That is for irregular verbs. Okay, now let's see. The past simple tense, the subject pronoun, I, you, we, they, he, she, it. That's for subject pronoun, there are seven we have learned before. Okay, plus verb 
sebab itu ditambahkan di belakang diberi imbuhan D or ED or IED or irregular form. Example, shared, played, studied, went, hit. Okay, let's complete the subject pronoun with the verb. With some causes, okay? Example, I shared the cookies. Or you played in the yard. They studied at night. He went to the hospital. She hit the door. Okay, that was some example for the verb. Well, the verbs will sometimes have to be modified. Yeah, just now, shared becomes shared. The one plus D only at the back. Become shared and then play plus ed become played. Study plus ied. So you change the y become ied. Become studied. Go this an irregular verb change yeah. Dari kata aslinya go become went and then hit hit. There are some verbs irregular verbs yang tidak berubah dari bentuk asal tetap sama. Verb one, verb two. Okay. Okay. Now let's see the rules or the formula for affirmative form. Yang kita disebut juga dengan bentuk positif. The formula is subject plus verb to or irregular verbs. Example, I watch football match on TV. That one watch is verb to plus ed at the back. And then mother cut some apples. Cut verb one with cut verb two remain the same. Okay. Next for negative form. Untuk bentuk negatif, sometimes we give the sign minus at the back. Okay. The formula, the rule is subject plus did plus not plus verb one. Nah, setelah kita mengembangkan kata did atau not, kembali ke verb one ke kata dasarnya ya, kata kerja dasar. Example, I did not watch football match on TV. Mother did not cut some apples. Jadi tadi yang watch plus ed balik menjadi watch tetap ya. Jadi hilangkan ed-nya dan tetap watch. And did not cut. Cut verb one, cut verb two, same. And then did not kita di sini menjadi didn't atau or didn't. Next interrogative form. Bentuk pertanyaan atau diberi tanda tanya kuncinya adalah tanda tanya di belakang kalimat. The formula is D plus subject plus book one plus question mark. Example, just now I watch become did I watch football match on TV? Okay, kita makan did dan balik ke book one kata kata kerja dasar ya. Did I watch? Then did mother cut some apples? Did the mother plus cut book one? Okay, that's all. Now. Let's try to do some worksheet. I give you worksheet latihan soal here. The first complete the sentences with verbs in brackets. Dilengkapin kalimat ini dengan kata kerja yang di dalam kurung. You change into simple past. Grow become grew. The man grew potatoes. Roger. Write that one verb. One become verb two. Rod. His bicycle to school. Mengendarai sepedanya ke sekolah. And then number three, Patricia. The one book one is brick. Book two, rock. Her left leg. Number four, my grandfather. The book one is built. What is book two? Built. The D changes into T. Built. Those houses. And then number five, the cat hid under the bed. Just now, book one is hide, and then the verb to change into hit. Bersembunyi di bawah tempat tidur. Okay. Now next, you write the sentences into negative form dalam bentuk negatif change. Okay. Number one, Julia held the books in his hands. You change. Okay, good. Julia didn't hold the books in his hands. You change ya. Bukan didn't. Hal menjadi book one hold. 
Number two, Eliza heard the noises at night. Yeah, didn't hear. Heard kembali ke dasarnya hear the noises at night. And number three, the woman froze the meat in the freeze. The negative is didn't freeze. Froze become freeze the meat in the fridge. Two boys fought. That one verb two, and then verb one is fight. Didn't fight in the park. Two boys didn't fight in the park. And then the last one, the sailors. Very good. Didn't keep the treasure. Kept the one verb two, and then the verb one is keep. Okay, good. Next, write the sentences into interrogative form. Ubah ke bentuk pertanyaan. The girl fell downstairs. How to change? Ingat, did di depan ya. Yeah, did the girl fall downstairs? Fall, you change into fall. Book 1, kembali ke book 1. And number 2, Peter saw. So, itu book 2. And then book 1 apa? Good. Did Peter see a ghost? Number 3, Pop itu mengajar. The book 1 is teach. Did you teach the students? And then number four, buat dulu didnya. Did Tom drive? The one verb two, verb one is drive his sports car. And number five, how to change? Martha fed her dogs. Very good. Did Martha feed her dogs? Memberi makan anjing-anjingnya. Fed. Verb two, feed is verb one. Okay, that's for interrogative form. Now, this is. The last question, I want you to correct the mistake. You find out which one is the mistake from each sentence. Number one, I didn't have my mother, my mom yesterday. Iya, hap. Udah din harus kembali ke book one. Jadi hap, not plus ed anymore. Okay, hap, book one. Kata dasar. Number two, good. Go. That become went. Untuk book two nya. Karena ada kata yesterday, this is about simple past. So, we use book two. Number three, very good. After did not plus book one, buy. Bought. Kembali ke dasarnya, buy. Book one is buy. And then number four, Alex weren't. No, because Alex is one, we use wasn't. Absent yesterday. And then number five, nah, itu cuma dibalik ya, Sarah. Good. Not was menjadi was not at the lecture. Okay, that's for the correct mistake. Very good, everybody. Well done. Excellent, everybody. I'm going to talk about present perfect tense and past perfect tense. Have, has, had, was, book three. Okay, now let's go on to the first lesson. Present perfect tense. Okay, what is present perfect tense? Present perfect tense adalah tenses bahasa Inggris yang digunakan untuk menjabarkan suatu aktivitas atau situasi yang telah dimulai di masa lalu dan telah selesai di masa lalu juga. Contoh dalam kalimat, I have been in Bali for three weeks. She has not done her homework yet. Have you ever been to Japan? Okay, itu contoh dalam kalimat. Okay, ada beberapa adverbs atau kata keterangan yang biasa dipakai dalam present perfect tense. Such as just, hanya, kebarusan, already, sudah, atau telah, still, masih, yet, belum, for, selama, since, sejak, ever, pernah, and never, tidak pernah. Okay, that's all for the adverbs. Okay, let's see the structure of positive sentence. Subject plus has, have plus past participle. Or verb 3. Example, she has baked the cake. We use she. We use has for she plus verb 3. Bake plus D become bake the cake. Now for negative, subject plus has, have plus not plus past participle of verb 3. Example, she has not. Harus tambah not setelah has. Bake the cake. Tetap pakai verb 3. Okay, now for interrogative. Has have the subject plus past participle of verb 3. Okay, jadi has yang kita tindakan ke depan. Bukan has she baked the cake. Okay, now for the usage. Untuk penggunaannya. Show the work that is recently completed. Yang pekerjaan yang telah selesai dilaksanakan. Dilakukan. Okay, she has just baked the cake. Never specific moment of time. Untuk suatu periode tertentu. 
I have lived in this city since 2011. Saya telah tinggal di kota ini sejak 2011. And then how long actions continue? Bagaimana aksi itu berkelanjutan? Rumble, he has had a pup for two years. Dia telah mempunyai seekor anak anjing selama dua tahun. Okay, now I give you some regular verbs here. You can learn, you can memorize. Okay, from verb 1, verb 2 and verb 3. Okay, now let's go to the exercise for present perfect tense. Okay, let's see for the questions. There are three questions. Okay, it just change into present perfect sentence. For example, I study English. I have studied English. Now, number one, I have missed the train. Miss book one. Okay. Plus ED become verb 3 Missed the train And number 2 He So what we, we use for he Has or have Has He has played Soccer The play here and Plus ED become played And then Number 3 She Has or have Okay And then She has And then lose Become lost Okay For verb 3 Lose lost She has lost Lost her keys Okay, now let's go on to the next question. Number four, they go to Spain. Change into percent perfect, percent perfect tense. They have gone to Spain. Go become gone. And then number five, we we have lived here for five years. Okay, we have. And then live was book based become live book trip plus D and number six I have known Chris for two years have known okay so this one irregular and then you change no become known plus and at the back then the, the last is he has eaten sushi it become eaten for book tree okay let's go on to the next question correct the mistake you see what's the mistake for the question Number one, we have bought a sofa last month. Any mistake? No mistake, but we have to plus. Since we have bought a sofa since last month. Kita membeli sofa ini sejak bulan kemarin. Ya, ada kata kurangnya, since. Then number two, good. Jim not lives, but has lived. Because present perfect tense. Dia, Jim telah tinggal di Jerman selama tiga tahun. And number three, me father has went fishing. Good. We correct me become my father has. This is not when, but book three go become gone. Has gone fishing. My father has gone fishing. And then number four, she is is incorrect. Incorrect. It has just moved house. And then number four, and then the next question we have eaten lunch since one o'clock, not at one o'clock. Then the last question, Sophie has do her homework. This one is the correct, incorrect one. Very good. Do. Book 3 of do. Done. So Sophie has done her homework. Okay. Now it's the last question. Fill in with, with for or since. For selama or since sejak. 10 years. For 10 years. Selama 10 tahun. And then next question. I was 5. Yeah, since I was five, sejak saya berumur lima tahun, and then eight o'clock, since eight o'clock, sejak jam delapan, then two hours, we use for or since, for, selama dua jam, okay, for, he, he has not meaning for untuk, ya, yeah? tapi untuk selama, the meaning is selama, and then ages, Ages is bertahun-tahun for ages selama bertahun-tahun. And then Saturday, the last you seen all four. Okay, very good. Since sejak hari Sabtu. Okay, very good everybody. Okay, let's go on to the second lesson for past perfect tense. 
What is past perfect tense? Past perfect tense adalah suatu bentuk kata kerja yang digunakan untuk menyatakan suatu aksi telah selesai pada satu titik di masa lalu sebelum aksi lainnya terjadi. Oke, contoh dalam kalimat. He had come late to the college. Dia telah datang terlambat ke perguruan tinggi. Oke, okay? my father had never spoken Japanese. Ayah saya tidak pernah berbicara bahasa Jepang. Had you started the lesson? Apa kamu telah memulai kan? Memulai pelajaran? Okay, go with the structure. See for the positive sentence. Subject plus had plus past participle. Example, she had finished. Negative, subject plus had not plus past participle. Example, she hadn't finished. Okay, atau had not. Ganti uh, bisa kita pakai had not, bisa juga pakai hadn't. And for interrogative, had plus had subject plus past participle. Had she finished? Okay, okay now let's see for the usage and the example in the sentence. You can read. There are five usages over there with example in sentences. And then for the time expression, that's the same. Okay. Uh, Uh, adverb yang digunakan untuk past perfect tense Ready yet For since just after before until the moment that Okay, past perfect tense worksheet everybody Let's do the exercises Part 1, complete the sentences See five boxes below the sentence You pick up the correct answer Number 1, when she went to bed She remembered that she And then switch off the light. Ya, ketika mau tidur dia ingat belum mematikan lampu. And number two, she felt tired because she had walked a lot that day. Dia masa capai karena dia terlalu banyak berjalan pada hari itu. Okay, number three, she went for a holiday after she had passed the exam. Okay, dia pergi berjalan-jalan untuk liburan setelah dia menyelesaikan ujiannya. Number four. He didn't start speaking until the children had left the room. Dia belum memulai berbicara sampai anak-anak meninggalkan ruangan itu. Then the last, he understood the book only after he had read it again. Dia mengerti buku itu hanya setelah dia membacanya lagi. Okay, now part two. Look at the sentences and choose which happened first. Nah, lihat dari kalimat ini, mana kalimat yang muncul duluan? Okay. By the time Charles arrived at the office, yeah, the boss left for the meeting. Yang jadi the first happen is the boss left for the meeting. Number two, Brittany wash all the dishes. Baru hasilnya kan ya. Ini sekarang menuju piring baru. Suaminya datang. And then number three, he had he had an accident. Yeah, dia mendapatkan kecelakaan. Baru kemudian dia melaporkannya ke perusahaan asuransi. Good. Number four. A or B. Happen first. Yang muncul duluan. Yang kalimat duluan muncul apa? Terjadi yang pertama kali terjadi. Iya. Yeah, Tom saves a lot of money. Menabung uang yang banyak. Nah, baru dia bisa membeli motorbike. Motor. And number five. Margaret read the book. Ya. Yeah. Stand up first. Happen. Kejadian pertama Margaret membaca buku. Lalu setelah itu dia mengembalikannya ke library. And then number six, my parents visited Paris. Ya, orang tua saya telah mengunjungi Paris. Lalu kemudian mengunjungi London. Plus part fill in the gaps with the past perfect tense of the verbs given. Fill in. Okay. Number one, when I go to the station, the train had already left. Ya, ketika saya sampai ke stasiun kereta api telah meninggalkan stasiun itu, okay? Tadi telah sudah meninggalkannya. Number two, before I lost my wallet, I had lost my umbrella. Sebelum saya kehilangan dompet saya, saya telah kehilangan payung saya. Number three, by the time the doctor arrived, the patient had died. Nah, sebelum doktornya sampai, pasiennya telah meninggal. Number four, when Anna phone. I had left to work. Ketika Anna menelepon, saya telah pergi kerja. 
And then number five, before Sarah crossed the road, she had look both ways. Sebelum uh, Sarah menyeberang jalan, dia telah melihat ke kanan kiri dua arah ya. Okay, now I give you extra list of irregular verbs. Just now uh, regular, now irregular verbs. You can learn, you can study, and then you can memorize. Okay. Great, we are very very good. Demonstrative pronouns. Okay, what is that? Demonstrative pronouns. Itu adalah kata petunjuk. Tahu dong kata petunjuk itu apa aja? This, that, this, and those. Okay, we are going to discuss about this, that, this, and those. Okay. Now the first is this. This itu adalah artinya ini. Okay. We use this for singular noun. Kita memakai kata this untuk benda yang jumlahnya satu, tunggal, okay? Untuk yang benda atau objeknya yang jumlahnya satu. And then to show the object which is near. Untuk menunjukkan benda atau objek yang jaraknya dekat. Okay, jadi kalau dia dekat kita memakai kata this. And then we will also use for uncountable noun such as liquid, powder, etc. Juga digunakan untuk benda yang tidak bisa dihitung seperti benda yang berbentuk cairan, bumbu dan lain-lain. Okay, use this examples. Contohnya this for singular atau near yang dekat dan dekat look at the picture banana see jarak antara petunjuk tangan dengan benda dekat right so we use this this is a banana ini adalah sebuah pisang jadi karena dia satu we use is this is and then the second picture okay look at the picture the the hands the one several near with the finger right hmm, dekat dengan jarak tangan jadi kita memakai kata this I like this several for breakfast saya suka several ini untuk sarapan okay now next that that artinya itu Okay, and then we use that for singular noun and uncountable noun too. Kita juga memakai kata that untuk benda atau objek yang jumlahnya satu atau tunggal. Dan benda yang tidak bisa dihitung. Okay, we use that. And then, to show the object which is far, we use that. Untuk menunjukkan benda atau objek yang jaraknya jauh, kita mempunyai kata that. Okay? For example, contohnya. That, singular. Of far, dan untuk kata singular atau jaraknya yang jauh, far is jauh. Look at the finger. The finger show to something far, menunjukkan sesuatu uh, satu benda yang jaraknya jauh, ya. Yeah? So we use that. That is an alarm clock. Itu adalah sebuah jam waker, karena jaraknya jauh dari telunjuk kita. Jauh kita memakai kata that dan diikuti dengan is karena dia cuma satu singular we use is and then the second picture look at the finger show to fire that is far from us fire itu jauh jaraknya kan so we use 
Z Karena dia uncountable Fire itu tidak bisa dihitung Can you pull out that fire? Use that Now next This Okay This artinya adalah ini Tetapi ini untuk This for pronouns Jadi Kita pakai kata This untuk benda atau objek yang jumlahnya lebih dari satu atau banyak, we use this. Jadi kalau tadi yang satu jumlahnya pakai this. Beda penulisannya, this singular and this plural nouns. Nah, this ini also to show the objects which is, which are near. Nah, untuk yang dekat tapi jumlahnya banyak kita berkata this. Untuk benda atau objek yang jaraknya dekat And then use this for countable nouns like people, animals, things and places Okay, juga digunakan untuk countable noun, benda yang bisa dihitung Example, this plural near This untuk benda yang banyak, yang lebih dari satu dan untuk yang jaraknya dekat Okay, look at the finger Show two grips Dekat dengan jarinya, right? So, we use this Because plural These grips are shower Dia sudah lebih dari satu And then the verb to be We use are So, these grips are shower Anggot-anggot ini are some The next Peter, shoes More than one shoes, right? They are If one shoe but two become shoes. Okay, I bought these shoes yesterday. Saya membeli sepatu sepatu ini sepasangnya kemarin. Ya sepasang itu adalah jumlahnya dua. Next, those. Those artinya itu. Juga with that, okay? That juga itu tapi untuk singular. Nah. Those yang ini, we use those for plural nouns and countable nouns. Nah, those ini kita pakai untuk benda yang atau objek yang jumlahnya lebih dari satu. Itu banyak ya. Dan juga untuk benda yang bisa dihitung. So, we use those. Okay. We use those also to show the objects. Which are far ya? Juga untuk menunjukkan Benda atau objek yang Jaraknya jauh Kalau dekat, we use that Oke, okay? kalau dia jauh Kalau dekat, we use This, untuk plural Kalau jauh, those, untuk Plural Oke, okay, now those Plural far Look at the picture. The finger shows to books, but the books far. Ya, menunjukkan buku tapi jaraknya jauh. So we use those books are thick. Buku-buku itu tebal. Buku itu jaraknya jauh dari telunjuk. Okay, we use those books. Use R and then the second picture. The one fruit. What is what kind of fruit? Cherry. Okay, there are more than one cherry, right? So we, we use those. I like to eat those cherries. Saya suka memakan buah cherry itu. Okay, now note catatan for simple formula for the most right to pronounce. Okay, this or that. Plus is plus noun. That's the formula for this, that. Untuk yang singular. And then, this, those, for plural. Plus are plus noun. Okay. Remember for the formula. Next, we do the worksheet. Okay. Okay. Let's see what the question. Complete the sentences with this or that. Okay, number one. Okay, good. We use that because far. Karena jauh jaraknya. 
Number two also, that far, that is a bad. Number three, that is near, hampir tersentuh jari. This, this is an eraser. Number four, that, very good, far, that. Number five, the car, near, this. Very good. Let's see the second question. Fill in the blanks with this or those. Okay. Look at the sample. You see the sample? You just answer. What are these? Kalau pertanyaan what are these, saya jawab dengan these are flowers. What are those? Dibalik dari those are pencils. Now, read it. Good. Karena dia dekat, we use this. What are these? These are caps. Copy, ya. Ini adalah topi topi. Okay, next question. What are? Ya, jauh atau dekat itu? That's far. We use those. Karena dia jauh. So, those are balloons. Itu adalah balon. What are? Itu dekat jarinya dengan kita, right? And dengan bendanya, we use this. These are candles. Ini adalah lilin. Very good, everybody. Excellent. Okay. We're going to discuss about prepositions. Prepositions artinya kata depan yang merupakan kata pengumpul objek dalam kalimat. Nah, this time we're going to talk about prepositions of place. Prepositions of place adalah kata depan yang menunjukkan tempat atau lokasi. And they are outside. Means di luar. For example, the cat is sitting outside of the box. Inside means di dalam. Examples: the cat is hiding. Inside of box. And then the formula for the sentences for is subject plus is am are plus verb in plus prepositional phrase. What is prepositional phrase? Prepositional phrase is preposition plus object of prepositions. Okay, next in di dalam. The spider is in the box. Behind. Di belakang. Example. The cat is behind the box. means the cut. Examples The boy plays ball near the chair. In front of means di depan. For example The cat is in front of the box. Below, di bawah. Example, the cat is below the box. Under means di bawah. The dog is under the box. Okay, there's note here for below and under. Below and under have the same meaning. Artinya di bawah. The differences of the usage adalah below posisi di bawah dalam posisi terbuka ketika benda tidak ada yang menutupi benda lain. Sedangkan under posisi tertutup 
menutupi benda lainnya. Oke, okay, next. On. Means di atas. The dog is on the box. Above means the atas. For example, the ball is above the table. Okay, not also for on and above. On and above has the same meaning, di atas. Perbedaannya adalah, kata on digunakan ketika dua benda dihubungkan, posisinya bersentuhan. bersentuhan. Sedangkan above, ketika kedua benda terpisah oleh jarak. Between, di antara. Example, The cat is between box A and box B. Among means the antara also. Example Sally sits among the boxes. Not also for among and between. Between and among mempunyai arti yang sama di antara. Perbedaan penggunanya adalah kata between digunakan di antara yang diapi antara dua benda saja, sedangkan among di antara diapi oleh lebih dari dua benda. The next to means di sebelah. Example. The rat is next to the box. Beside means the something. For example, Tom sits beside Jane. Next, around means di sekitar. For example, the ball is spinning around the table. Out means keluar. Example, the ball is out of the box. Far, jauh. Example, the boy is standing far from the chair. Cross from means disebaran. For example, he sat across from the man. Okay, from all the examples, the conclusion for the formula is subject plus is mr plus prepositional phrase. Okay, now let's go on with the worksheet. Worksheet, latihan soal. Look at the picture. Okay, you're going to answer. Where is the ball? Just the correct option. Very good. The ball is under the box. And then number two. Where is the ball? Very good. The ball is in the box. 
Number three, where is the ball? The ball is behind the box. Next, where's the ball? The ball is on the box. Very good. Okay. Next, teacher. Where is the ball? Good. The ball is next to the box. Where is the ball? The ball is in front of the box. The last. Where is the ball? Good job. The ball is between the box. Okay, now let's see the next picture. Pebble, a cake, hamburger, banana, and apple. Very good. There is a cake beside the hamburger. And then there are bananas behind the apple. And there is an apple. In front of the bananas, there is a hamburger between the cake and the apple. Very good. Now, next picture stay with the table, there are milkshake, salad, chips, and watermelon. So, there is a salad. In the bowl. Very good. Then, number two, there is a milkshake next to the salad. Number three, there is a watermelon under the table. Then the last, there are chips. On the plate. Well done. Okay, that's next picture. Fill in the blanks with the words given below. Under, on, next to, behind, in front of, and in. Number one, the bird is under the chair. Very good. Number two, the snake is. In front of the court. Next picture. Number three. The end is behind the glass. And number four. The fish is in the fish bowl. Okay, the last picture, number five. The crocodile is next to the pond. And then the last picture, the last question. Good job. The tiger is on the car. Okay. Very good, everybody. Excellent. We're going to study about vocabulary and spelling. And then, the lesson today is about animal. Itu nama-nama hewan. What are they? Let's check it out. Okay, the first. Ikan hiu. S H A R K shock 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 ikan lele C A T F I S H catfish 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 ikan nila 
নাল ছিলাপিয়া এন আই এল ই টি আই এল এ পি আই এ নাই ছিলাপিয়া নাই ছিলাপিয়া পিঙ্গুইন ফ্যাঙ্গুইন পি ই এন জি ইউ আই এন ফ্যাঙ্গুইন 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 ইকান গুরামি গুরামি জি ও ইউ আর এ এম আই গুরামি 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 বলুত ইল ই ই আর ইল ইল আই এম চিকিম C H I C K E N chicken 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 burung merpati pigeon P I G E O N pigeon 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 bebek duck D U C K duck 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 angsa goose g o o s e goose 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 burung kalkun turkey t u r k e y turkey turkey turkey, turkey. burung onta ostrich o s t r i c h ostrich 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 anjing dog d o g dog 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 kucing cat c a t cat 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 Kelelawar Bat B A T Bat 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 Lumba Lumba Dolphin D O L P H I N Dolphin Dolphin Ikan paus Whale W H A L E Whale 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 Sapi Cow C O W Cow 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 Kambing Goat G O A T Goat 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 Kuda Horse H O R S E Horse 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 gaja elephant e l e p h a n t elephant 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 jerapa giraffe g i r a f f e giraffe 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 Monyet Monkey M O N K E Y Monkey 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 Orang hutan Orang hutan O R A N G U T A N Orang hutan Orang hutan Orang hutan Kelinci Rabbit R A B B I T rabbit rabbit tikus mouse M O U S E mouse mouse beruang bear B E A R bear 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 kanguru Kangaroo K 
A N G A R O O Kango 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 Koala Koala K O A L A Koala Koala Harimau Tiger T I G E R Tiger 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 Bajin Squirrel S Q U I R R E L Squirrel 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 Tupai Chipmunk C H I P M U N K Chipmunk 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 Anjing Laut Warriors W A L R U S Warriors 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 Bobby Pig P I G Pig 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 Marmot Guinea Pig G U I N E A Guinea P I G Pig Guinea Pig Guinea Pig Guinea Pig Panda Panda P A N D A Panda Panda Kukang Slow Roris S L O W Slow L O R I S Loris Slow Roris Slow Loris Slow Roris The mood N A N T N N N Rusa Deer D E E R Deer 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 Lalat fly F L Y fly 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 Nyamo mosquito M O S Q U I T O mosquito 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 Kumbang ladybug L A D Y B U G Ladybug 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 Tapung Dragonfly D R A G O N F L Y Dragonfly 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 Seafood Snail S N A I L Snail 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 Kachoa Cockroach C O C K R O A C H Cockroach 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 Belalang Grasshopper G R A S S H O P P E R Grasshopper 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 Udang Prawn P R A W N Prawn 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 Udanil Hippopotamus H I P P O P O T A M U S Hippopotamus Hippopotamus Bada Rhinoceros R H I N O C E R O S Rhinoceros Rhinoceros Pocket Salamander Salamander S A L A M A N D E R Salamander Salamander Kupu Kupu 
butterfly. B U T T E R F L Y butterfly. 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 Palagan king scorpion. S C O R P I O N scorpion. 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 Kutu lice. L I C E lice. 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 Landa porcupine. P O R C U P I N E porcupine. 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 Leba. B B E E B B B Tawon Was W A S P Was 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 Ubur Ubur Jellyfish J E L L Y F I S H Jellyfish 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 Penyu Turtle T U R T L E Turtle 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 Kura Kura Tortoise T O R T O I S E Tortoise 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 Komodo Komodo Dragon K O M O D O D R A G O N Komodo Dragon Komodo Dragon Komodo Dragon Singa Lion L I O N Lion 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 Unta Camel C A M E L Camel 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 Buaya Crocodile C R O C O D I L E Crocodile 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 Bunglon Chameleon C H A M E L E O N Chameleon 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 Ata kodok Frog F-R-O-G Frog 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 Ular Snake S-N-A-K-E Snake 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 Sachin Worm W-O-R-M Worm 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 Cica Lizard L I Z A R D Lizard Lizard Musang Weasel W E A S T L Weasel 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 Serigala Wolf W O L F Wolf 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 and then the last is Domba, sheep, S H E E P, sheep, sheep, sheep. Laba laba, spider, S P I D E R, spider, spider, spider. Okay, now let's do the worksheet. Okay, I'm going to ask you to match, match the animals' poems. Okay, the picture. There are six pictures. Okay, see number one, stable, stable for horse, and then number two, horn for frog, and then number three, nest, sarang burung, of course for bird, and then the next picture, pigsty for pig, and then kennel for dog, and the last one is chicken coop, chicken coop for chicken. Okay, next, 
The next question. The third or fourth is tiger bird rabbit iron monkey dolphin race number two. This is a monkey. It can jump. And then this is a dolphin. Dolphin can swim. Very good. Next question. This is a tiger. Tiger can run. Okay, good. Next question. This is a what is that? A lion. And then lion also can run. Now the third picture. This is a bird. Buru. The bird can fly. The bang. And then this is a rabbit. Rabbit can jump. Melompat. Next picture. This is a turtle. Turtle can swim of course. And then the last picture. This is a fish. And then fish also can swim. Very good everybody. That's all our lesson today. Thank you for watching. Semoga bermanfaat. See you for the next video. Have a nice day. See you bye bye.